So welcome back, uh, coronavirus outbreak. Uh, outbreak. Uh, been indoors for quite a while now. Thought I'd take the bike out, stretch her out, stretch her, stretch her legs out, start her up, warm her, see the neighborhood, see how people are dealing uh, with this outbreak. I'm indoors most of the time. All kids are home, no school, so they're homeschooling. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chote. Switching over to the 787. We don't have a forced uh, quarantine now. It's just like no school. And um, still allowed to go out of the house just, you know, to get stuff. All the stores are closed except for uh, the... Uh, essentials groceries and uh medical like uh, uh pharmacies and you know hospitals stuff like that but otherwise there's nothing else all the retail stores are closed i say it's just a matter of uh time a few days till they actually uh close uh, close down everything and they pretty much uh mandate that you stay home so let's uh take her out for a spin Listen to this. I'm going to also uh, be recording some 360 footage. Hopefully we get some nice uh, angles. Just go for a short ride around town and enjoy the good weather that's out uh, that just came uh, yesterday and today. Listen to this. How about that, huh? How beautiful this SC project. I might Duke 790. Uh, let's get some uh, 360 footage. You think I remember how to use this camera? You're wrong. So coronavirus is part of our lives for the next uh, few months. Um, I work as an airline pilot, as some of you might know, and I've been sent home three months now for like uh no le like no pay so for three months i'm gonna be home with the kids no pay thankfully i have some uh some reserves that i saved saved up over the years exactly for this in case you know of an emergency so i can survive uh, three months without uh any drastic changes hopefully uh the next few months a uh, solution is gonna emerge therapeutic or some kind of treatment I uh, hope all of you guys are okay you know saved up or still working I know this is gonna be a global a global uh, disaster financially I mean we don't see things uh, coming yet there's my wife uh, we don't uh, realize the, the magnitude of this yet but believe me soon people are gonna be laid off and it's gonna hit everybody. It's gonna be a recession like we haven't seen. Actually, it's gonna be a depression worse than 1929. And I'm not here trying to like depress anybody, but this is definitely the time for you to understand that this is what's gonna, this is what's gonna come. This is our future. And uh, I think this is uh, the time for you uh, to get things uh, you know, organized in your life try to cut and all cut all uh, unnecessary expenses and uh, you know be prepared I mean there really isn't uh, much you can do to change uh, what's going around you but you can definitely care for your family now they're talking about this uh, stimulus Trump is talking about some kind of checks that they're going to be sending out and if I were you, I wouldn't be too excited about it. Maybe you do need it. We do need it for, uh, you know, to survive uh, the next, the near future. Uh, but the consequences of giving everybody free money, and it is free money, long term is really, really bad. This is like, uh, it's, it's, inf it's, what you, it's what causes inflation. So all this money printing might seem like a great, you know, immediate solution for 
for a, a really uh, desperate or, or situation right now. But once that money hits the, you know, hits the streets, the value, the buying power of our dollar will be nothing, nothing. So, you know, there's also a good thing and a bad thing about it. If you owe money, uh, if you have a debt, credit card debt, or I don't know, uh, mortgage debt, like a mortgage payment, student loans, things like that. So let's say you owe $40,000. Those $40,000 uh, are will be worth nothing, nothing in a year or two because of all the uh, inflation that's going to be uh, created. Now, of course, the officials will, will say nothing about it. They won't tell you, oh, yeah, inf uh, inflation, there's no inflation, whatever. They always come up with these... Uh, uh, they mask the situation. They say, yeah, the CPI or the purchasing uh, power, it wasn't affected. They always tell you it's only 2% and that's bullshit. They always change the way they calculate the inflation. The truth is, for the longest time, the Federal Reserve has been printing billions and billions to bail out companies. To, uh, if you guys heard of the repo market, so times are going to be really, really tough, really, really tough. As a matter of fact, I'm selling as we speak. I put, put my uh, truck up for sale, and I'm going to sell some of my uh, motorcycles just, you know, to have some cash in hand. So times are going to get tough. Um, Now, in situations like this where there's uh, really high inflation, and it's just a matter of time till uh, inflation hits us, if you have money in dollars, any investment in dollars, the actual buying power of that money, of that dollar, drops. So $10,000 that you had saved or hidden somewhere for rainy days, those $10,000 in a year, I won't be worth that much. They'll be able to buy less and less uh, goods, uh, less than what you could buy for, uh, with that money today. So what should you uh, do? Like, how do you save your money? And I tell you guys, this uh, this is the time, actually it's, uh, it might be even a little bit too late, to put your money in gold or even better in silver. Yup, that's the only true asset only true uh, a real real thing that you that is tangible that you can can save and know that that it's gonna it's still gonna be there same buying power this is the year this is the time for precious metals gold and silver um, if you do have some money put aside I highly highly encourage you to go ahead and buy gold or silver. This is the time. Definitely. Ah, I love the sound of this uh, exhaust. Amazing. Just feel the vibration. It vibrates the bike. It's amazing. Social distancing, they say. So I do see a lot of people, you know, walking around, uh, walking in the parks, keeping away from each other, which is it's perfect. It's good. That's what you should be doing. Okay, personally, I'm not sure that the way the governments around the world are handling this situation. Not that I'm saying they're overreacting, but I think there's going to be more people dying from the uh, aftermath of this coronavirus outbreak, you know, of the financial disaster that's going to come right after this, than the actual virus itself, if they hadn't done anything, or, or 
if they uh, decided, for example, to uh, isolate or quarantine the people that are more vulnerable. I'm not saying uh, just let them uh, die. No, not at all. I'm just saying keep them safe, quarantine them, tend, you know, help them, uh, take care of them, feed uh, medically and stuff like that. And let's let the rest of the population, you know, the pop, the rest of the population that is uh, stronger and not, not as, uh, not in risk, not in medical risk that can actually fight, fight this virus. And let us, the healthy people, um, deal with it. And uh, the, the virus will die eventually because once it, it hits a critical mass where it has no new candidates to, uh, uh, to spread, it simply dies. And that way most of the, pop, of the healthy population, most of the healthy population... Uh, will overcome this virus, will still be working, uh, contributing to society, to the financial, you know, to, to the financial world, and I mean, to the economy. And um, we won't face this disaster, this financial disaster that's going to be uh, uh, thrown upon us because of all this uh, shutdowns and... Uh, the economy is completely shut down anywhere, all around the world. And listen, I don't know if if this, uh, we don't know if this uh, is the right way to do it. If what I'm saying is the, is the right solution. But it's definitely not popular to say it. Because it's like, oh, it's inhumane uh, to, to lock down and quarantine the elderly and the more, or the vulnerable uh, people, but look, look what's going on right now. Everybody's under quarantine. Everybody is is uh, shut down. And long term, the world is going into a big, big depression. There's no way out of it, and it's too late already. Nothing we can do now. Our next uh, two, three quarters are going to be disastrous. It's going to be a negative GDP. One thing is absolutely clear at this stage. Over the past decades, society, United States, all the countries have become reliant on globalization. All production was transferred to China and we all rely on China. We have become uh, dependent on China and other nations. The United States needs to be self-sufficient again. We have to bring back uh, manufacturing back to the states, production back here, even even uh, in the cost uh, with the cost of uh, uh, more expensive uh, final product. There's no way out of it. There's no, nothing we can do about it. Look at us now, how we depend on China. This is unacceptable, and I think politicians are seeing this now. The public is seeing this now. How we be, became uh, dependent uh, on China. The Chinese are just threatened that they're not going to supply us with uh, chemicals and uh, medicine uh, for our normal everyday use. And we, we literally, they hold all the power against us. That's unacceptable. Okay, let's hit the highway a little bit. Let's stretch our legs. this in a long time. Wow, look at this, look at the roads. Look at the, how, how empty they are. It is coolish. It is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Although the sun is out, it's, it's pretty cold.
go to all my friends that are indoors and are uh, locked down and can't ride their bikes. Hopefully you'll enjoy this little video of uh, Love this uh, this area. Look at the lake on the left. Look how nice it is. Ah, oh, the streets are so empty. It's so nice. I did get some comments from some of you asking me to get back to my uh, motorcycle videos. Trust me, I was <laughs> I was looking forward to that too. Winter was here, and uh, I don't I don't enjoy uh, riding in the in the cold. So officially, uh, spring is here. I don't see that many people out. Obviously, coronavirus. Seventeen, New Jersey. Nobody here. Saturday. Usually this place is packed. Okay, I'm riding a 2019 uh, KTM Duke 790. Just stock. The only thing uh, I changed is I took the back, uh, the rear foot pegs off, and I installed this SC Project. Pipe, which is an amazing instrument, musical instrument, amazing sound it gives me. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen me, uh, you know, seen this uh, pipe before, I did actually uh, I made a video of how I install it and the difference between stock and uh, this actually this pipe itself. So check out my channel. I'll put a link down in the description of uh, the video really really amazing it was I think like a 10 to 15 decibel increase and the sound difference is amazing so check it out okay we're getting close uh, to my uh, house and to the end of this uh, bike ride hope you enjoyed this video if you did and please go ahead and give me a, a thumbs up uh, if, you, if you want to share it with others, go ahead and share it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And make sure to hit the notification because I know uh, many times I put out a video and you're not getting notified. Although you're subscribed, you're not getting a notification that I put out a new video. So go ahead and click that, uh, that bell. This was a nice and fun little ride around uh, the county. My dog Google. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this uh, setup, this ride. Just getting out of the the house a little bit. My little dog there, Google, Google. Peace out.